Hello and welcome to the bathroom, guys. Um, my note just fell off here. I have a little note here. What a bad start for a shave, okay. Let's do this again. Welcome to the bathroom, guys. And today I'm gonna review a soap uh, I never tried before. It's called St. James London. I'll put my glasses on, I don't know. Yes, St. James of London. It's a shaving cream, not a soap, of course. I'm so used to soap, so I say soap, but I mean cream. But this is a cream, and it comes in um, actually a glass container. It's very, very nice. It's the first glass container I have for soap, and it's a tin cap, screw on like this. Feels very heavy, and it's a uh, quite a big. Cream here it's 150 milliliters or 5 ounces. And this is a black pepper lime. And uh, these two scents blend together is very very nice. I like black pepper very very much. Lime is not my favorite uh, scent but uh, together with this black pepper it's a very nice scent of this soap. Or cream, sorry. This is not gonna be easy for me. This is a cream. Uh, I'm gonna try a new stump today. I'm going to apply it to my stubble immediately, the cream. And face leather. I never tried that before. So now I have the opportunity to do that when I finally have a cream here in my hand. Um, unfortunately for you who watch, it will be a very long video because I'm gonna Use this camisole again, Feather Artist Club SS. I used it uh, two days ago and I had an incredible close shave with only two passes with this one. And I want to learn the technique. It's my, I think it's my ninth, eighth or ninth time I'm gonna try this today. So I need to find the technique because I want to shave with this one and get a quick very close shave in only one or two passes so i'm gonna continue practice with this one so if you're just interested about how the soap was you can skip to the end if you want to see the whole shave or part of it hang on um, if someone is interested about this soap i have the cardboard box here with the ingredients you can pause the video and read it and uh, some text on the back too. You can pause your video and read that. No more with that. Put that away. I don't have any place. I it on the floor. Um, before I start, I want to to some of my new subscribers that you know which YouTubers I watch. Shaving. I watch everything on YouTube. I have money interest, but in shaving uh, That's why I actually have this Note here because it would be quite embarrassing if I forgot to mention someone of them I follow and like I These names I Suggest that you take a look at if you don't already follow them. I'm sure most of you already do that but I never miss any videos from these guys. I uh, sometimes check on other shavers, but these are my favorites. And none of them is really... Well, one uh, have over 1,000 followers, it's Friendship Shaving. And he really deserves that because he does incredible good reviews. Uh, Carl Kiefer, I think he has about 800, so he's close to 1,000 now too. Very... Uh, Nice man, C. Kiefer is his name, very very nice man, great shaver, and uh, Flash Boredom, of course, uh, is very very entertaining, I always get a good laugh from his videos, Jeffrey Smith, very skillful shaver, with a lot of knowledge, and he has so many fantastic razors and soaps, so very very nice to see him follow in. Matti Lindholm, Swedish shaver, uh, incredible skillful with straight shaver, uh, straight razors, sorry. 
Uh, I think you only have like 59, 60 followers when I checked and I don't understand why because he's very nice, very skillful. Take a look at him, he deserves more subscribers. And of course Frank Strandberg, also a Swedish shaver. These are the guys I never miss a video of and I like to watch. I don't like this big, very popular shavers too much. I shake them sometimes, but I'm not gonna say what I think really about it because uh, this is a nice community. Okay, let's go on with this. Um, what the brush? And it's my Mule Silver Tip, my best brush. I only have three brushes, I'm not so interested in brushes. Actually this was the one I bought when I started wet shaving and I did it because um, I read about it and I, uh, it was supposed to be a fantastic brush, it's a synthetic brush. And it, uh, I did my research well, it's an incredible good brush. I have two more but they are not as good as this one. So, there's the brush. The Kai blade, it's the third use now. Kai Captain Titan. It's the name of that one. I wonder if any one of you know, you can help me out here. I'm gonna buy new blades because I only have one left after this one and I noticed it died on the fifth shave, this blade, for me. So I'm gonna have to buy new, should I buy Feather Professional with the black dispenser or uh, the same blade again, Kai Captain Titan Mild. If any one of you have used both of these blades, maybe you can give me a hint of which one is the sharpest or if they are more or less exactly the same. So please leave a comment and I would be very much appreciated. Okay, um, I have some alum ready here because there will be blood of course. I have only shaved once with this camisole without cut myself. And I have which I still to heal me up afterwards. No bone because I believe this soap contains good enough. And I'm gonna have my glasses on this time. I think. We'll see. Okay, let's try this stunt now to put this cream directly on the face. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to take, but better safe than sorry, maybe. I'll take a lot there. It seems very slick on the fingers. The sand strength is uh, medium so far, or maybe a little bit more, over medium. Okay, we'll see what's happening here. If this is enough or not. Flick out the brush a little bit. Wow. I have to be over the sink. I hope this is a very slick soap. I'm quite tired today, I had a lousy night of sleep, I have problems with my sleep. And then I worked, and when I got home I had to paint. And then make dinner, so now I'm completely... I don't know why you say that, but I'm very tired, I'm not gonna do anything more tonight than just watch TV and hopefully sleep long tomorrow. It worked out really well here, but it's way too, too dry, I overloaded. It's a nice feel on the face with this one. Of 
cream. It's a cream for crying out loud. Forgive me for saying so when it's a cream. It can take a lot of water too. That's a good sign for a soap. I think we are there. This is, I'm making a mess here. Full of blood everywhere on me. Start, uh, let's start this. Okay. I caught myself already there. Yeah. I think it's something we will do now. I can say so far that this soap is quite slick with a very good glide. <coughs> it's so good glide and slickness that I can almost grip this knife here. Okay, let's go to the other side here.
little bubble here. I think it's drying out here on my chin. Have to drill under a little bit. The hardest area is on the chin to shave. Okay, I'm happy so. First half uh, can be a little bit. I'm quite happy with first pass here. Yeah. Let's see what the next pass can do. The sound of the soap is has not changed. It's black pepper and lime melted together. Very pleasant and warm sound. Okay.
the same muscle memory with the left hand exactly. Excuse me a second, I must uh, get the slickness of the handle here. I don't get a good grip now. Usually this handle is very very it's not sensitive to. So, but uh, for some reason it is now. This is a very good soap so far. It dries out a little bit faster. I'm gonna make it more slick here. See against the grain is quite hefty here. It won't cut through there. Okay. Small, small cut there or weeper or something. This irritated fuckeroon is here against the lip. You must get away. Because they irritate me. When you're ready shaved and then suddenly you feel you have a hair almost on your lip. The only objections I have against this soap so far is that it's dissipating quite fast or maybe I'm too slow. Well, of course I'm slow. But, um, okay. Very nice here. In the cheeks is nothing left. The chin a little bit here. On my neck, the problem areas here and here. It's a little bit left. But I don't know if I'm gonna shave that. And here in the cliff, there in the middle, of course, it's left. So.
Otherwise, it feels very good. See if we can chase this one on the chin there. A little bit on the neck. I got a tiny cut, of course. No one is surprised. Very nice. I'm happy so guys, let me rinse and I'll be back. Back for the little post shave. Humphreys only. No smelling good tonight because I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna be here at home watching TV, taking a big, big triple whiskey and enjoy a calm evening. I hope uh, you also get a calm, nice, fun weekend, everyone. This soap was um, very nice. It was easy to lather, uh, great glide and slickness, felt very good on the face, and the scent of um, lime and um, black pepper melted together very nice in a medium strong scent. The only thing I found was uh, dissipating lather a little bit. Um, but maybe that was because I, well, I'm quite slow with the camisori yet, so maybe it depends on that, but no problem to re either. either. So uh, overall it was a very good soap, felt good on the face, as I said. A soap I can recommend, actually. Very nice presented in a real uh, glass container on the tin screw cap. Very, very nice. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I had a great shave and I hope you get that too this weekend. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.